father? Good morning, mother dear. Good morning, father dear. Teresa dear. Thank you, Teresa, dear. <laughs> Teresa, dear. Thank you, Russell, dear. Okay, let's stop the perpetual motion, huh? <laughs> stop kidding. Or are you kidding? Will you look at that suit? This is the way he dresses for school? Where does he go, Mrs. Penelope's for girls? <laughs> Miss Quincy says that those suits are the smartest thing this season. Kid, if that suit were really smart, it'd jump right off of him right now before it gets rolled in the mud. <laughs> I beg pardon, sir. Russell is no barbarian. That's right, honey. I'm sure Rusty knows better than that. Indeed I do, Mother. <laughs> <laughs> Tut what? We were given tongues so that we could ask for what we want. Oh. Uh, well, my tongue doesn't want anything, but I would like the salt. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Well, now, now, what would you children like for breakfast? Some crackly pops or oatsy bits? Oh, Mother, you needn't trouble yourself on our account. We'll have whatever you're having. Hey, let's not carry this thing too far, huh? Hey, Russ, I'll get the seeds out of your orange juice. I can handle it very well myself, Peter. <laughs> Peter? Now, tell you, stop fooling around. What do you want? Oats you bitch or crackly pops? I'll leave that up to you, Peter. Don't call me Peter! <laughs> One more Peter out of you and I'll pay you where you haven't been Peter'd lately. We can protect the father. We were only trying to behave in a manner that would reflect credit on the Williams' name. It's all right to behave, but you don't have to do a scene from Wuthering Heights. <laughs> Sorry, you're offended, Father. I'm not offended. And I don't want to hear any more of this hike of talk, either. My most humble apologies. <laughs>